Hey y'all, Iron here. Today we're going to be playing Snowplowing Simulator for Snow. All right, so we're in the shop here. Oh, lock. Okay, table. Uh, social table. Oh, it looks like it's some drinks to keep us warm. Oh, footsteps are very loud. Oh, there's an online shop here. So it's saying you can buy things like plows, clothes, power-ups. Okay, that's cool. Don't mind the footsteps, they're very loud. All right, looks like this is where we saved the game. And then we got a map right here. Okay, so I guess this is our first office. Um, oh, I don't know where the key is. Okay. That's the garage. Okay, that's the door that leads us outside. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Shovel plows. Clothes. Uh, Power-ups are different things. Okay. Oh, and then we got, like, cough syrup and stuff. All right. So you must be able to get sick and stuff. Oh, that's, that's going to be interesting. All right, so taking a look around here. Let's see, hot coffee. Okay. I keep accidentally pressing the E button here when I want to try something. I got to realize that it's, it's left click. Um, if I press I, I get some information items. Okay, M is map. All right, looking around. All right. Oh, it says I can press I. Here's our garage. Oh, there's a first aid kit. All right, when we buy medicine, that's where the medicine, that's where the medicine goes. Goes in the first aid kit. All right. Oh, there's our pickup. It's got uh, WSAD steering, an automatic transmission, and it looks like we can call roadside assistance if it gets stuck. Kind yeah, of looking around to see if there's anything else in here. Okay. Oh, there's the first aid. Oh, okay. Medicine cabinet. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So how do we get started? I don't really see anything saying, like, start here. Here's the items I can have. Um, all right. So, yeah, let's try going outside. Oh, here we go. I get clear snow from the office. We don't make money, uh, but it allows us to get customer orders. Okay. So, the mailbox is where you check for the tasks. Okay. Okay, so we got to check out mailboxes, and this one's for our hub garage. Okay. Uh, only plowed 2%, I guess. I assume that's for me just stepping in the snow, <laughs> cleared some out already. Um, it's not saying, like, if I need a shovel or anything, so... I guess we'll go in and buy the shovel. All right. All right, it's going to be delivered. Oh. Are they going to bring it to the mailbox? Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, they just bring it up here. Okay. And all right. So I guess the courier puts stuff here for me. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I got it equipped here. Oh, okay. If I press, oh, okay. So if I press one and then I left click, it'll dig. Okay. Well, I guess we're making the, we got to shovel out our pathway here. Oh, this is going to be a thankless job. Holy moly. Slow and steady. Now, I'm looking at my map up on the top right. It's very small, but it looks like as I dig stuff out, it turns gray. All right. Uh, so, let's see here. Gray shows buildings. Blue is the air that needs to be cleared of snow. Okay. The faster I clear it, the better you're rated. Okay, I can do that. No, nope, just clear this snow out then. Then we'll make our way back to the building. I keep seeing these numbers pop up in front of me. It looks like there's a weight to it. 
Some wondering like what the max weight with this little shovel is. All right, we're almost back to the shop now. Oh man, it's getting dark already. <laughs> oh, something. Oh, something flashing in the snow. Position of the finds. So it looks like if I miss something in the snow, they'll actually light it up for me so I can find it. Yeah, that's cool. Now, how do I get this? Uh, there we go. Hey, 500 bucks, I'll take that. Not bad. All right, so let's see. Do I have to dig this out then? Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's nice clearing out snow like this. Especially since I don't have to be out in the cold doing it. <laughs> Although I wish this was a little bit quicker. I assume there's something that helps speed us up or maybe we get better tools. All right, still clearing this out. I'm at 84%. Uh, so I guess I still need to clear more out because it's still going. Yeah, I still see the blue on my thing there. Oh, if I press Q. Okay. Well, the Q showed that, and then I hit enter, and I can clear the job. Oh, only three stars. That's not good. Ooh. I hope no one notices. <laughs> oh, I can buy a scraper. Okay. Oh, it's it's dark in here. Oh, there's a weather station. Okay. Uh, what about lights? Okay. Close that door. Don't want to get too cold. Oh, I don't have tea or coffee. Okay, I guess that's something I need to buy. Uh, um. All right. Oh, there's that scraper they talked about. So I guess I just gotta wait for it to come in now. All right. Uh, so let's see here. I had to do a quick uh setting change here. So then we're gonna get back into it. All right. Scraper is here. All right. So these are push tools. Um, okay. Basic shovel to spread it and then use the scraper to push it. Okay. That's going to be hopefully quicker. All right. Um, so I guess I need to plow this over here. All right. So put this down. Oh, oh, this is a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, this definitely beats the shovel. 100%. All right, there we go. Push that over. And then we'll line it up. Yeah, that is 100% easier and it definitely picks up snow way better than that little shovel. Now, let's say I can handle a lot of weight here, because... Alright, we're up to 80 pounds of snow, and we're still pushing. 88, okay. When we're improperly dressed, we'll lose temperature. And when we go below 36 Celsius, likelihood of disease increases. Okay. So, we just need to make sure we stay warm. Warm drinks, better clothes. Okay. I guess that means... Oh, calories. Okay. So we have calories, too. So as we work, we burn calories and we need to replenish them. Okay. Um, And then it says here that the tool tips are at the bottom left. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Oops. All right, let's... Unequip my shovels, get back inside. Oh, I forgot to go inside. There we go. All right, uh, let's see. Store. 
All right, power ups. These are foods and these are objects. Where's the tea and stuff? All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, tea and coffee. Um, all right, this gives warms you up quickly and gives you a lot of energy. Okay. And then we need a thermos. So we can take that with us so we don't have to keep running into the hub. I like that. Um, and then we need to buy some food for calories. Okay. All right. So it looks like tea and coffee's here already. Just click on it and say, yeah, we want to drink it. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh. All right. There's my croissants that I can eat. All right, and then the thermos. Up oh, there it is. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can. Uh... Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So you just click it and it works. Great. Now it doesn't look like there's a way to tell it what to put in it. So it's, I think it's just kind of automatic. All right. Now that we're warmed up and got some food in us, we'll uh, keep plowing here, I guess. I think I almost hit the limit there. That was like 170 pounds of snow. All right. Using the Q button to help me see where the snow is I need to plow. And then just keep pushing. I love how it feels just to kind of push the snow and throw it to the side. Oh. And it seems like once I get near that maximum, it, it seems to push off on its own, so I don't have to worry about manually doing it. I kind of wish we could do this quicker, but that's why we play simulator games. Kind of casual, no need to rush. Now, yeah, we'll just keep on plowing for a minute here. Got about 53% done. I wish I could sprint or something. I do find it easier to kind of just backpedal. <laughs> Way quicker if you just backpedal and start over. Oh, alright, some flash in the snow. I don't see it. Alright, we'll just keep plowing and see what pops up. Is it? No, I don't think it'd be over here. Just keep going. Stay the course, stay the course. Oh, oh. Oh, that's over 200 pounds. Oh, it's not happy right there. All right, we'll get this little guy out and shovel through it. some coffee in us or tea. Okay, I do see something in front of us here. Oh, and of course the snow berries. <laughs> oh, just our luck. Now, where was that? Oh. Let me put my shovel in there. Oh, key to the private room. Okay, so that's unlocked. Oh, we'll definitely have to check that out. Let's just finish this off first. 
Now, it doesn't seem like snow's accumulating around me, but I'm wondering if, like, when you stop and start the game, if snow comes back, or if there's, like, storms during the certain days, and it uh, makes it so you have to go back around and do snow again for, uh, for like, at the workshop. All right, hit my limit there. So there definitely seems like there's varying weights to the snow. Um, it's not all uniform. Yeah, because you can see there's kind of like mounds against the gates over here. So let's just try going to the left side and then dumping this so we don't dump it right in the middle. Almost done. I'm going to see how far we can get here. All right. So I can't enter places until I get recommendations, and I just have to keep working, and new places will open up. Okay. That's not hard. Kind of like a kid starting his own uh, snow shoveling business. The more and more you do, more and more people want you to do it for them. Okay. Not a lot of snow left that I didn't get here. I'll just do the last of the scraping here. Alright. Uh, about 99%. Five stars. Okay. It looks like it says we can start our adventure. That's great. All right, um, we got keys to the private room. And it said there's more stuff that came here. Oh, oh yeah, let's get more food. It's only 10 bucks, so. It's kind of crazy, there's no croissants there. There's muffins this time. All right, uh, yeah, let's just drink the tea. I think there's lights in here. Thinking about trying to turn on lights in here so it's a little bit easier to see, but it doesn't seem like there is anything. It's just very dark and snowing inside of my garage. But that's okay. Huh. All right, here's the private room. Oh, it's very dark in here. Artifacts table. Okay, so there's a board. Oh, there's a wardrobe where we can change our clothes. All right. No lights. I want to believe. Is that Sasquatch? A Yeti? Oh, Yeti. Oh. All right, anything else in here? Are we on the lookout for a Yeti? All right, no other clothes, just the ones I'm wearing. Oh, there's a radio. Nice. Yeti table. I can't click on it, though. Oh, there's a book here. And a lot of writing on the wall. All right. I don't think there's anything else in there. So what do we do next? We got to go Mr. and Mrs. Smith. But All right, we'll just kind of look through this really quick here. Is there anything that said like how to get over there? Or do I just there's like no quest or anything. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I could buy clothes. I think we're okay with once what we got. Um, well, if I'm supposed to get over there, I don't have truck keys. 
trying to see if there's anything I missed, but all right, uh, jump. So we jump forward ahead a little bit here because I finally figured out that they're in the private room, but the private room was so dark I couldn't see anything. Uh, when it became a little bit brighter outside, it became easier to see in there. All right, so now that we got the truck keys, we can actually drive the truck. And I'm going to give you a fear warning here. We're actually going to jump ahead a little bit because I had so much trouble with the FPS inside of the truck that I actually did a bunch of stuff trying to fix my FPS. I think I eventually figured out that it was um, it was first person mode inside the truck. Uh, and if I did it in third person mode, it was better. So we're just going to go ahead and jump ahead a little bit. And then you'll get to see some more driving later on when the FPS is a little more fixed. Uh, so now we're at Mrs. and Mr. Smith's house, and we're going to see what we can do here. All right, so it looks like it automatically starts the stuff when we get inside. All right. So we need to clear this, and then it looks like there's a big path in the back we need to clear it out. So we'll bust out our little push shovel here and get to cleaning. Now, one thing that's pretty, oh, it's talking about the tractor already. Is I guess it's because I'm near it. All right, WSAD, and the controls are in the bottom left when I get on that thing. Okay. Um. Okay, load. I got to clear this snow. I got to finish this pathway, and then we'll start worrying about the tractor and stuff. Boy, it gets mad at me if I try to shove a little too off the path. All right, let's just get the scraper and we'll push forward. It really gets mad if you go off the path too much. Like, it automatically kicks your snow off for you. Which is a little irritating. Oh! Alright, not bad though. Definitely getting a lot of snow pushed forward. Alright, so we'll have to dig all this out then. Jeez. That was 31 pounds of snow. That was a doozy to pick up with a shovel, I bet. Like Popeye over here. If I eat spinach, maybe I grow some big muscles or something. Alright, let's clear this mound of snow out. And then we should be able to get the scraper back out. Alright, looking better. Geez, we only have 4% done. That means that back area has a lot of snow. So we're going to push this forward again since we cleared some snow out. Try to work the edges here. Ooh. Sometimes it doesn't seem like there's a lot of snow in the area, but then it like immediately goes up to 230 pounds and just unloads. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a little run there going. All right. Once again, it's fighting me on the edges. I just shovel up to the yeah to the stairs here. And get these big mounds knocked out so I can scrape again. Yeah, that, that edge is you can tell it keeps fighting me whenever I'm trying to shovel through. I just want to be precise and get everything nice and cleaned up. Oh, I like the little spin that we're doing there. A little trick shot. Alright, up here, there's some more. So we'll get this cleared out. 
I think that's all it's going to let me really do. All right. So let's get some food and coffee in us. All right, let's hop in this thing. All right, uh, let's see here. R is to lift and lower. And it looks like that's pretty much it. Okay. There's no sound, which is weird. And actually, this happened with the truck, too. I don't think there's sound for the vehicles. Yeah, I can actually see. I'm, I'm raising the sound here. Like, I'm just kind of curious if I'm miss something. All right. All right, so let's lower this bad boy. Oh. I'm just going to say uh, this is a precursor of things to come. Those edges with the rocks really fight you. You really get hung up on them a lot. And, you know, it is what it is, basically. I think you can actually turn it off in the settings, and that's something I'll probably mess around with in the full game if that is a true setting. All right, so... So I'd really just want to lower this and kind of... Oh, oh. Careful, careful. There's like a basement entrance or something there. I don't know. All right. So we'll put this down and just push to the gates for now. Yeah, it makes it very awkward with this new cell. All right. Now, one thing I'm also having issue with, this, with here is that when you reverse, it automatically lifts your plow for you. And that becomes a big problem because when you throw it in reverse and you let go of the reverse key, it doesn't stop automatically. So it's like you, you slam the reverse key, he reverses, and then you let go of it and you slam the, you hit the R key to drop your blade but it keeps going up and down because you're still rolling backwards. Um, it's just something you have to get used to over time, I guess, uh, because you don't stop automatically. Like the physics are kind of rolling forward. All right. Uh, so we'll get back into it here after a quick break. I just keep working on plowing this. Now I'm still trying to get the hang of this plow and the edges of this walkway. And it's, it's driving me a little mad. And then there's the silence with no sounds of the tractor, which is even crazier. All right. Um, Got to get a better approach to pushing through on this walkway here. And it almost looks like the ground is still grass. It makes it look like I'm, like, plowing a grass pathway. <laughs> but I, I want to believe that it's, like, a stone pathway or something here. And I am just all over the place with this. You get, I'm getting a little... I'm still trying to figure out how to handle these edges in the snow with these rocks. Because it's really annoying when you're trying to get some momentum and push. Now you can see here, actually, I'm, I pushed the snow with the plow and I start slowing down because I got too much. It looks like I hit about 5,000 pounds and it's kind of like, oh, it starts slowing down because it can't push anymore. So that was really interesting. I actually really like the whole idea behind the weight of the snow. It gives it a little added touch to uh, how you're going to manage moving the snow and stuff like that. All right, so now we got to work the the turn here. And that's not too bad. Just checking the snow path here. Because I think if I get stuck on another rock, I'm just going to throw my keyboard. And, oh my gosh, okay, I'm pushing 7,000 pounds, 8,000 pounds. It doesn't stop. Uh, yeah, let's just stop for a second, back up, and we'll address that in a second here. All right. Try to clean up the edges just a little bit more, hopefully. Oh, found another rock. Kind of hoping I could just push through that, but... So you can see here, when I lift my blade, the snow actually stays behind, too, in a little pile. So it's very important to get that snow to an edge. 
uh, so it's off the main pathway. I'm just kind of trucking the last of this massive pile through. All right, we'll slam it into reverse and did again. One thing I, I started noticing uh, is that when you run over the snow too with the tractor, that clowns is clearing it. I don't know how or why or what. Um, so that's actually not a bad idea for helping, you know, clear this pathway on the edges if you're trying to go for as close to 100% as you can. All right, keep on pushing through. Now, this is a lot better than using the shovel or anything like that. Oh, I'm pushing so much snow, you can see it coming off the edge here, off my left side of the blade. So we got to actually back up, drop the blade, and push that snow that I missed through. And nothing wrong with just gassing it and going. <laughs> All right. So looking a lot better back here. I don't know if they're bad. This is like a weird like driveway to their back of the yard or if they're just they don't like snow that they want their their grass plowed it's kind of hard to tell from the textures so this is what it looks like in first person mode i decided to give it a shot and see what happens and kind of just pushing through oh Forgot about that picnic table there. First person mode ain't bad. I feel like it's a oh, it's a little bit harder than third person view when trying to plow and stuff like that. But I'll just go back to third person for now. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just push it over there. We're good to go. All right. Well, now we got a little extra. Don't have to worry about rocks in this section, so we'll just kind of gas it and go. All right, let's go back here. Actually, let's turn it around, and we'll actually push snow to the outhouse over here. I think that's an outhouse. If it is an outhouse, no, that has to be a gardening shed. It's like a little shed. I'm not here to judge, though, so... It is what it is. You tell me in the comments. Is it an out, outhouse or is it just a little shed? I think it's really just a little shed. I think if it was an outhouse, it had like a window or something there. But man, does it. I've never seen a shed like that, but I'm from the U.S. And, you know, we buy we buy big sheds. <laughs> All right. Um, should have drank some. Should have drank some of my thermos or I'm getting cold. Right, and working on getting this this side cleared here, and I keep hitting more rocks on the edges. But I'm almost done here, so I'm just gonna kind of push through. I see that I'm at 91%, and I can, can end the job when I need to. And this painting table is fighting me to hell and back. Alright, I need to clear. Yeah, that's the thing. See, I was reversing. I slapped R, and then my blades didn't come down until I started moving forward again. Yeah, it's just a weird little thing, but I think with just persistence, you can get over it. So, kind of looking around here, the back seems pretty good. Just the little small spots that I'm not going to overly worry about. Now, there are some chunks here, though. Uh, so can I, yeah, I could use my little shovel here. Oh, that's frustrating. I'll have to get this out. Yeah, let's just wrap this up. 94% <laughs> four stars. I think that's okay. All right, um, so we're actually going to wrap it up here for now. Um, we'll do some more houses here in the upcoming episodes. Uh, there are a few more to do in this first snow slash demo. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content so I can make some more. Um, 
I had a great time uh, playing this, and I'm hoping to show you guys some more of this stuff because this is honestly pretty fun. All right, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.